What's up sim racers? My last AMS2 video demonstrated the frames per second in VR at maximum settings. In this video, I will demonstrate what it takes to lock at or near 90 frames per second in my HP Reverb Pro VR, which has a max refresh rate of 90 Hz. Keep in mind my computer specs, which are listed in the video description below. The changes that I made from maximum settings were very subtle. With just two clicks to low MSAA and super sampling set to 110% in Steam VR, my frames per second locked at or near 90 frames per second. The difference in image quality is not noticeable. Keep in mind that 90 frames per second with these settings was achieved under these conditions. 19 other cars, clear skies, and not near the start finish line. Yes, the detail around the paddock in main grandstand initially reduces the frames per second to around 60 to 75 when the green flag is waved, but it's still a smooth experience. In an effort to squeeze out more frames per second, we can reduce or remove non-essential eye candy like shadows, another big performance hit, and pit lane animations. Something else to note, check out my GPU usage. It is averaging 90%, sometimes 95%, while my CPU is barely doing any work around 30%. In my last video, GPU usage was near 100% at maximum settings. What's interesting as well is the VRAM usage is around 6 to 7 gigabytes of the available 11 gigabytes. While the 2080 Ti video card has wiggle room, if your card has 8 gigabytes of VRAM or less, that is something to keep an eye on when in VR mode. When clouds and rain are added, the frames per second will drop further but not much. Depending on the track and car type, I am still seeing 75 to 85 frames per second with an average of around 80 frames per second. That's quite remarkable for a title in early access. Alright, it's a short but sweet video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys next time. See ya.